Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So guys, we have two new tarantula mounts to show you. The first one comes from my P. Zazamai, which is a juvenile female. Her colours look absolutely amazing. And the second mount comes from my juvenile female P. Metallica, which is a little bit of a shock. So I'll show you them two new beautiful tarantulas in just a second. But just down there, we have two new envelopes to show you with some amazing YouTube logo stickers inside. So while we're here guys, let's open up them envelopes and let's take a look. So guys, there are the two new envelopes. Let's just push this one to one side and let's just open this one first. So let's have a quick look to see who we've got today. And we have, oh, Jojo XO Cavern. Absolutely fantastic sticker. Cracking design. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely, beautiful colours. This is a new channel. channel. And I think we might have the same sticker yet. She sent me two, which is very nice of her. So that is the first YouTuber. So we'll just put them stickers to one side. And let's open the second envelope. I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that sent me their YouTuber logo sticker. So we have George's Insects and Exotics. Bloody fly flying around. <laughs> yeah, fantastic design. And I've noticed that all the designs that I've, people have sent me are all round. <laughs> just zoom in there for you guys. So yeah, two fantastic logos so if you like their content please check them out i'll leave a link in the description and you know what to do guys so everyone the first tarantula i'm going to show you is my female juvenile p zazamai now the two tarantulas that malted they both malted around three days ago so they're not due a feed just yet so if I just move this and I'll zoom in a little bit more for you guys so there we go guys with the water dish full let's just take out that malt there it is just there and the tarantula should be inside its court bark yeah there she is all oh, showing a little bit of a threat posture there so she's a little bit uh, annoyed so guys, I have my flashlight and look at this. Boom. Oh my God. Wow. Look at those colours. She looks absolutely stunning. These are a fairly small species. They only get to around about the four inch mark. So they're not very big. I've had her a while. Very, very slow growing species. So yeah, she's looking absolutely amazing. And like I said, I'll... um. I'll give her a feed in the next four days or so. So she's looking a little bit annoyed there. So I think I'll leave her alone. I'll put the court bark down. And uh, let's show you my P. Metallica. So everyone, this is my P. Metallica's enclosure. So let's just move that court bark very, very slowly. And there she is. Oh my God. She's got to be at least... Four inch in leg span, I'd say. Let's just zoom in for you guys. And I'll use my flashlight to show you them amazing colours. Oh my god. Holy scamolis. As you know, I've been in the hobby 25 years and it still amazes me to this day. Look at those colours. Oh my god. Now I got this last year from the British Tarantula Show. And it was just potluck. I was hoping it was going to be a male. And it turned out female. So I was hoping to get a male for my adult female. And yeah, I've got two females. <laughs> so yeah, look at that. Oh my God. So yeah, I'll leave her for another four days. I'll give her uh, some food. And I'll be rehousing her into a, a bigger enclosure. But while we're here, guys, let's get my... 
two foot tongs and let's take the malt out so I don't want to disturb her too much because it's only been three days since she malted and there we go so I'll, like I said I'll rehouse her into a bigger enclosure and I'll show you that enclosure now I won't be using any cork bark I'll be using something a little bit different and I'll definitely show you that now so let's get a new enclosure now let's take a look and there we go ladies and gentlemen there is her new enclosure and you can see the size difference so she should be okay in here for at least another couple of months or so so like I said I won't be putting no cork bark inside I'll be using something else and I'll be using this look at that oh my god when I had that big giant parcel about five or six months ago this was in there as well and I thought I'll definitely use that for my juvenile P Metallica and you can see all the holes at the side which you can hide behind there and uh, web up and do her own thing so yeah I'll be using that as a piece of cork bark so she can hide under so let's just put it inside the enclosure and that's how it will look just like that obviously with some substrate in there a water dish and a fake plant which is uh, optional so yeah that looks absolutely fantastic she'll definitely web that, up, web that up and enjoy it so yeah to a fantastic malt in the collection so I'll be rehousing her next week after her feed so please stay tuned for that and I hope you enjoyed this video ladies and gentlemen and thanks for watching everyone